Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your favorite new channel come to for hip hop news and content. The J. Kenneth's 508 Sense channel. Real quick, 508 gang, you already know the drill. Everyone else, I'm gonna need y'all to do your boy a solid. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I definitely would appreciate it. But let's get straight to it, y'all. So your boy casting over two times. You know what I mean? He the one that's well known for the set tripping song. Or he's well known for the beef between him and 6 9 That became big headlines because before that, they was cool and they was both bloods. And then after that, they ended up beefing with each other and they was both bloods. But now, you know what I mean? Casting over two times is being charged and indicted on a federal racketeering case for an alleged murder back in 2018, plus selling guns, drugs, the whole nine. Up until now, Casanova two times has been good at staying out the news, not being in the headlines for no drama, no smoke. He's actually been on IG bumping uh, elbows with Snoop Dogg, chilling, living the good life in Calabasas, down in Atlanta, doing all that fun stuff you would hope that they would do once they become famous instead of still indulging in the street stuff. Because once you make it out, you shouldn't have to keep doing the same thing. The whole goal is to get out so you can live that good life. This is a picture from Pix11 in New York, which says rapper Casanova wanted by FBI, another alleged gang member charged with teen's death in New York. I'm going to read a few things in regards to the news report of this situation. Prosecutors charged 18 alleged members of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang in connection with various racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearm, and fraud offenses, officials said. All but one of the alleged members were in custody as of Tuesday. Rapper Casanova was still being sought by the FBI. Officials said he's believed to be in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Officials charged Brandon Soto in connection with the September 21st murder of a 15-year-old minor in Poughkeepsie. The accused individuals also allegedly defrauded COVID-19 economic assistance programs, acting U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss said. Because of that, communities across the Southern District from Poughkeepsie to Pickskill to New York City suffered Strauss. Uh, the alleged crimes span a wide swath of New York on June 12th, Naya Austin, Dezen Washington, and Jordan Ingram allegedly robbed a rival drug dealer at gunpoint in Pickskill on July 20th. Stephen Hugh allegedly shot at a rival gang member in New Rochelle and on August 28th of 2018. Brianne Thornton allegedly shot at a rival gang member in Brooklyn. Yeah, so basically they not playing. When the FBI charges you with this type of stuff, that means they've been doing their homework. That means they already know everything. As you can see, they already know the whole entire interaction between them from that day. They already have all the names. So that means there's obviously got to be witnesses involved with it, whether it's people snitching or just random witnesses from the community that seen something and just decided to tell. As of right now, Casanova two times is considered on the run. Not saying he is on the run. He might turn himself in as of tomorrow because this is all so fresh just happened within the last few hours. But as of right now, he's clarified on the run because everybody else is locked up and they still can't find him. They think he's in the Georgia area, but they're not sure. So at the end of the day... Once they catch Casanova two times, hopefully he could bail out. But if not, don't be expecting this case to be wrapped up in a matter of days, weeks, months even. Because as I've been talking to a lot of people, they think these court cases get wrapped up within a week or two and the investigations are finished in a few days. That's not how the system works at all. If you've been involved with it, you would know. Investigations can be up to a year or two long. Ongoing cases can be up to a year or two long. You can literally be fighting a child for two, three years. I did that one time. My child lasted almost three and a half years before I finally beat it. But yeah, I want to know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think he'll turn himself in? Do you think once the case goes on that he's going to get smoked? There's no way out. Do you think this is the end for him? Let me know in the comments. I definitely appreciate it. Stay safe. Peace, y'all. Yeah.